Up until the 2020 release of ZBrush, the only way to adjust the colors on a polypainted model was to manually repaint them with a new color. This was especially cumbersome with detailed paint jobs. Now you can adjust the colors with more flexibility, kind of like Photoshop adjustments right inside ZBrush. So let's see how it works. So I have this model which you can download and the link is given in the description below. So this is uh, just a simple polypainted dog image. And if I will go here down and to my polypaint option, and here I have adjust colors. So if I will press on adjust colors, it will give you a complete different uh, window interface. It's just like you have uh, the window when you are using uh, mask by coloring. So kind of similar, but you have some additional options just like uh, below you have this. So let's check what we have uh, below. By the way, my uh, as I'm recording, so I cannot see the top area. Otherwise, on your screen, maybe you can see the stop area where you have reset or cancel option, and all the uh, cancel option is on the bottom. So reset option and some other option you can see on the top. So here I have hue, saturation, and value value uh, area. Here I have the intensity. Here I have the contrast, and here I have the gamma. So I can change the hue of my overall dog so you can see that going on and going back to zero will bring it or you can go to the reset which is you can see on the top as I cannot see right now as I'm recording so I'll just type zero here and I can choose any color over here and I can tint with that color my whole dog so that also I can do this is the saturation if you want to increase the saturation or if you want to increase the value, which is the intensity of your color, so you can do that. Now here is the RGB intensity for red, green, and blue. This is for uh, the overall RGB intensity. And then below here down, you can see uh, for each and every uh, color for green, if you want more green, so you can increase the green over here, more blue or less blue. So totally up to you and you can mix and match whatever you, are, uh, you want here, but I will keep all of them zero. This is the contrast, basically the contrast of your image and your colors, uh, the contrast of the red color. So you can notice the red over here and there is a, a tiny bit of overall red here, a peach red you can see. So that is also affecting. And if I go below the value, you can see that is also, it's affecting the other part also. And here is the gamma. So RGB gamma for all overall RGB color. This is the basic uh, gamma of your color, which is the intensity of the color. So by default, the value is one. And if I want to increase the red gamma, I can change the red gamma and all those tiny things. Now, this is if you want to change uh, ad uh, and adjust the overall of your color adjustment. But what if you want to adjust a particular color for example I want to change only this red handkerchief over here so what I can do here is that just simply I will go to any one of these colors drag and pick this red here now this red is affected and you can see it is showing the mask over here so that you can only work on clearly on, on, on this one I can hide the mask if I want but I will keep it uh, there so that I can only focus on this red. So maybe I don't want this to be a red. I want to uh, change this red intensity uh, to black or maybe I can change the color uh, here. Maybe I can increase my, um, you know, green more and blue a little bit less. So these kind of changes I can do here or I can completely change its tint. Okay, so for example, uh, if I will go to my blue color over here and I can increase the tint of that blue. So you can see that from that uh, red handkerchief, it has become now the blue handkerchief. Now also, if I want to change these tiny dots, so I can go to the next color and pick that tiny, uh, this peach colored dots here. 
and change this one to maybe green okay uh, the tolerance is too high so maybe I have to reduce a little bit tolerance here okay and maybe do something around one if I will type here okay or 0.5 if it takes 0.5 no it doesn't take 0.5 so one maybe so I can you can see that it is changing a bit of that color part here now at the same time what if I want to change these uh, black dots over here so I can take this one go to the black dot over here okay and all of them are changing at the same time but if you don't want to change any one of these you can uh, increase the tolerance of maybe decrease the tolerance of this one so it will be less affected okay or increase the tolerance of this it will be more affected or you know vice versa just like that so as all of them are selected it is affecting all of them and if you want to turn this off on only affect on this handkerchief so maybe you can increase the tolerance of the handkerchief here okay and just if you're ready you can press okay so you know if you want to work uh, on all of these colored at the same time you can do that or you can do one by one on whatever you want suppose i don't want to work on all these i want to work on this one okay uh the black dots and i want to convert those black dots into a different color of uh, dot over here so let me decrease the tolerance here to something around 10 and maybe i want a blue uh, i want blue dots instead of black dots so i can change the tint to blue or whatever tint i want okay and then i can press okay and you will see there is a mask here so you can press control shift and uh, control and drag on your screen so the mask will be uh, you know it will be gone over here anyways uh, you know all these things are your options so it's up to you if you want to play around and now zebrush has locked these colors so next time if you will go over here with the adjust colors option you will see entirely uh, you know refresh uh, interface over here so you cannot continue where you have stopped so actually it locks your uh, you know options over here so it uh, also keep the mask which you can see we have removed it so you can go ahead and continue to make adjustment using the same mask as well if you don't want to remove the mask so if i will uh, you know uh, undo it so the mask will come back and if i will go back to the adjust colors here so now what i can do here is i can do some changes okay and it will apply over here uh, you know disregarding the mask or something you can inverse the mask and then you can do some changes on the inverted mask as well so this is if you want you can work on the masks uh, or without the mask you can invert the mask anytime you can do that so that's how the mask will help you but if you don't want just control and drag and the mask will be gone so i hope you have liked this tutorial and you have learned about something uh that you can change the colors right inside the zbrush you don't have to go all the way back to photoshop and do some changes so if you have enjoyed my videos please click on the like button and i will upload new lessons new tutorials new live sessions and new full courses uh and uh, if you want to get the notifications for those so don't forget to click on the bell icon I will highly appreciate if uh, you will give shout out to my channel on your social media account, which will help me to get more subscribers. And this will motivate me to create more content for you uh, and uh, for you all. So guys, uh, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson.